Top 10 Things to Do in Vienna Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 things to do in Vienna. So sit back and relax as we take you on a virtual trip to this beautiful place. But before we begin, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. It's totally free, helps us out, and you never miss another piece of content. Vienna Vienna is the capital of Austria, but they used to call it the capital of the world. And that is a very good sign as this means that they have a lot to offer. So, stick with us till the end as we have picked the best ones for you. The city is rich in culture with esteemed museums and beautiful places, making the whole city look like a movie scene. The restaurants and cafes are sure to entice you with a luxurious and deniable sense of grandeur. Vienna receives about 7.5 million arrivals each year. On number 1 we have the Museum Squartier. Now this is not an ordinary museum as it features one of the world's finest Egon Schill collections. They also offer an array of trendy restaurants, bars, and cafes where you can sit and enjoy the day at the Sculpture Park with a mini golf course. The Leopold Museum is the home to 40 full Schiel paintings and various works of Gustav Klimt, Oskar Kokoschka, and members of the Wien Werkestätte movement. This is arguably one of the most polished art museums, while the Mumok showcases the city's premium contemporary art collection, which includes works with the likes of Andy Warhol and Roy Lakenstein. Not to mention the geometric books in the courtyard add a beautiful aesthetic to the whole premise. Moving on to number 2, we have the Jewish Museum. In the spirit of the Holocaust and to keep them immortal, the Jewish Museum was built in Vienna in the year of 1895, but the Nazis seized the building and the artifacts were stolen in the year 1938, and this still echoes in the walls of the museum with empty platforms missing the valuable objects. The museum was reopened in 1988 and moved to Dorothea Gasse in 1993 with deep-rooted history and a rich grip on architectural integrity. Another site was inaugurated in 2000 above the remains of the medieval synagogues in Judenplatz. The two landmarks speak of a tale in the city lived by the Jews of the Middle Ages through to the present day. The museum rightfully preserves the memory of 50,000 Austrian Jews killed in the Holocaust, exhibiting the surreal contributions made to every aspect of Viennese life by Jewish civilians throughout those times. On number 3 we have the Hofburg Palace. Visit the Hofburg Palace to get a glimpse of the royal lives lived by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This place depicts the life and death of Empress Elizabeth, Princess Diana of the Habsburg rule at the CC Museum. Oh, and we forgot to mention the Baroque splendor of the Prunksaal. Today, the magnificent palace is the official residence of the country's president and doubles as a home to Vienna's top galleries and museums, serving as an integral attraction to their tourism industry. The palace is also known for the dancing horses, and you can entertain yourself with Lipizzaner horses as they perform their nifty dressage work in the Spanish Riding School. Hitler's famous Anschula speech was also held at the Austrian National Library. We bring you the artistic gem on number 4 with the Belvedere Palace, Kimt's The Kiss. If you are an art lover, I'm sure you've heard about The Kiss, at least once in your lifetime. It was the final painting of Gustav Klimt during the Golden Period and is the centerpiece in the world's largest amalgamation of spectacular pieces of art located in the beautiful Belvedere Palace. The Belvedere Palace is counted as a UNESCO World Heritage Site with breathtaking interiors and erotic sculptures. The place is glazed with artworks from many other artists who lived in the Golden Period displayed in the Baroque Palace complex. The Kiss played a huge role in Kim's life and is regarded as a masterpiece and valued at $135 million. On number 5, we have the Wiener Riesenrad. The Riesenrad Ferris Wheel is the London Eye of Vienna. This Ferris wheel is visible from afar, standing valiantly at the entrance of the Prater Amusement Park. This mighty ride takes you back in time with its gondolas or compartments to the year 1897 with its majestic look and aesthetic as it was built in the same year. The mighty 200 feet wheel also starred in a famous 1940 thriller movie titled The Third Man. Once you join in for the ride, the view of the whole city is sure to mesmerize you as the gondola reaches the peak and there is no other way to rejoice in the culturally rich majestic city. The amusement park in itself is a beautiful place to stroll around the premises as you live a little in the historic funfair. The sixth on the list is the Neubau District. Stroll around in the Neubau District and be a part of the edgy neighborhood. This lucrative area is home to a lot of unconventional boutiques, bars, and restaurants. Locals call it the Berlin of Vienna. The area is home to a lot of immigrants establishing small businesses that have made this district edgy and one of a kind. 
Head over to the Nobao district to grab a wholesome brunch or give the subterranean Takeda a shot. It is an old-fashioned beverage with a bacon-infused espresso tonic. The place is known for its food, the neighborhood, and diversity. Number 7, we bring you the Nashmarkt and the Veganista ice creams. Regardless if you're a carnivore or a hardcore vegan, Veganista is a heaven for ice cream lovers or backpackers strolling around the neighborhood all day. The Veganista ice creams are very popular and they have a wide variety to pick from on the menu. You'll be surprised how perfect they might get. They have 18 entirely green flavors, from chocolates to fruits, and they also have perfectly blended herb ice creams. Don't forget the cookies and matcha. If you want to try cultural Viennese food, then be prepared to tingle your taste buds in the Nashmarkt. If you want to take away edible souvenirs, then there is no other place better than this. They have cheese, sausages, home-brewed wine, and many more. The market was built in the 16th century, boasting its cultural influence from London. The culinary diversity will always get you hungry for more. From Indian shawarma to sauerkraut, the place has it all. Number 8. The Sigmund Freud Museum The man who founded psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud lived and worked in Bergasse until 1938, but when the Nazis persecuted all of the Jews in the city, he was forced to leave and so he settled in England. The building is now a thoughtfully curated museum that features very rare video logs of his sessions with patients and his belongings. The place is restored with historical integrity intact and perfectly portrays life during the intellectual golden age. You can buy a vintage souvenir from the gift shops and take part in the Sigmund Freud Museum events. The ninth one on the list is the outdoor dip. Vienna is also sneakily known for its pools. The Art Deco is worth a visit. The majestic design of the premises and a premium will dazzle you but nothing beats swimming under the blue sky. You can swim in the open air, Sean Brunner pool, a gorgeously restored 1920s number placed in the center of the park. The Alte Danau or the Old Danube is home to an idyllic bathing beach and seafood restaurant and if you like exploring marine life, you can rent a boat or go scuba diving. And last but not least, the Cafe Central. Now there is a no-brainer with elegant tables waiting for you in the cafe. This is the place to be the grandier, glittering decor and well-received world-class cakes and pastries like Apfelstrudel, showered in icing sugar or custard-filmed Kremschnitte slices. The cathedral-like interior domed ceilings and the carefully made patisserie section will keep you coming back for more. So that's gonna do it guys, that was our list of the top 10 things to do in Vienna. If you think we missed out on anything, do let us know in the comment section. And if you've not yet subscribed, do subscribe and hit the notification bell as it supports us and motivates us to bring you more content like this. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.